The best champion right now, Jace. S plus, S plus, S plus. Broken. Why do I put Senna here? Every single Senna player. Oops. Every single Senna player is an inter. Every single Senna player in ranked is just an inter. They are just gonna int you down, being useless, feeding. Never are they good. I'm I'm tired. I'm not gonna put the S plus tier anymore. I just put here. You guys don't you guys don't know how to play Senna. Don't play her. Don't ruin my ranked experience. Not only my ranked experience, everyone else's ranked experience. Hey what's up guys? Darkbreaker here and or oh, aka Professor Breaker is here. Okay. With another lecture and for today's video, patch 2.6a tier list. We are gonna go through um all the lanes or all the roles and I will try to give you an in-depth explanation. You guys really need to make sure to listen to the explanation before I see you guys um complain in the comments. But yeah, so I will just give you my uh, input about every tier list and why I think each champion belongs in that spot. And sometimes it's like, it's a mix in between, like, it doesn't really matter if it's S or A. Like, some some champions are pretty close in between both uh, yeah, both ranks. So it's hard to say, okay, is he S minus, is he A plus or something? It's pretty hard to say. So better listen to the explanation. And... If you guys enjoy this tier list, then definitely make sure to leave a like so more people will see it and maybe share it to your friends so they know what to pick. But yeah, let's get started with the Baron lane, then jungle, mid lane, ADC and then support. So first of all, the number one champion right now is Jace. The number one champion is Jace because he's broken in Baron lane, broken in jungle and broken in mid lane. I underestimated his power. I actually did under underestimate it. What did I put him before? I said in 2.6 my prediction was S tier. That was okay. Uh, I underestimated him. That was generous. He is S plus tier. His damage is broken. He got buffed. He is just too strong. Every single team is first picking him in competitive right now. He's super strong. Um, He beats Fiora. He beats... Uh, it's hard to say if he beats Riven and uh, Renekton. I think... Either both have a good chance. Camille can do solid against him. But otherwise, most champions just get straight up bullied by Jace. Jace is super... If you learn and master how to use the cannon for max range correctly, kiting-wise, and you learn to master the QE combo where you just hit the opponent every time with that combo, this champion is just broken. And I have tons of videos coming up for Jace. Because this champion is just busted. Abuse him. Abuse him. Super broken. Super broken. Trust me. Like, I can show you quickly teaser. S plus tier. Teaser. S plus tier. <laughs> He's broken. This champion is broken. Anyways, next one. Fiora. Even though she got nerfed, I think it doesn't affect her at all because uh, you don't really use the second ability that much in the early game. She still is one of the best split pushers, one of the best early games, one of the best duelists. She's, uh, she's fine. Like, um, her nerf literally not noticeable. Renekton the nerf, not noticeable, it's just slight nerf. He was way too overtuned, but they didn't nerf the second ability damage and the first ability healing, first ability damage, ultimate, he's untouched basically. They reduced the AD per level, I think, slightly, and the cooldown of the second ability by one. It doesn't matter, still the same. Riven, one of the best duelists, tons of damage, um, still broken. I mean, if you guys want the explanation, 2.6, it's literally the same explanation. She's still, she's untouched from 2.6 to 2.6a. Camille, though. Camille, though. A skilled Camille is still S+. Plus. A skilled Camille who knows how to trade, how to freeze, then she is fine. But if you are not skilled on Camille, maybe she's just S tier. I have to say, the shield nerf, it's... In most matchups, it's not that noticeable, to be honest. But in some matchups, against a Fiora, for example, um, against a Riven, against a Renekton, I would say it does hurt her laning phase. 
At any other stage of the game, she's still the same, but in the early game, in the laning phase, she's definitely weaker. Um, I think she's still S+. Plus. I played her a lot of times in the Baron lane, and I'm doing pretty fine and I have no problem, so I think she's still the same. But you can't play as aggressive anymore, and your defensive capabilities in the early game are weaker as well. But if you want field footwork, second win, you should still be fine. Like, skill Camille S+, plus, not skilled ST or something. Um, there is still one of the best juggernauts, uh, Tanky. Pretty tanky and he can win with 9 games, but he loses a lot of lanes. And he gets kited in a lot of comps. Like, these champions, you can pick them no matter what, but Darius is a champion, you can pick him every time. Otherwise, if you're against a Lucian or Vayne, you just get kited. Jax, I think I underrated him. I think he's very good. Um, not sure what Jace against Jax, I would say. In the early game, Jace bullies him. But later on, Jax should outscale. Fiora against Jax. It's tricky. I would say Fiora wins early, but Jax should outscale. And with the second ability nerf, uh, Jax has more openings. So, yeah, better. Jax against Renekton. Jax outscales. Jax will maybe get bullied in the early game, but he can block the second ability. And the second ability has higher cooldown now. Jax against Riven. Honestly, I would say it's in favor of Jax, not gonna lie. Late game, you outscale. If she gets... If you do one mistake in the early game and you give her first blood, then the lane is over. But otherwise, you can... If you play it safe, you should be fine. Camille, you outscale. Camille, again, I mean, Jax against Darius, depends. I would say Jax favored as well. Jax is really underrated, like... He does decent or not bad against most top Baron laners. And he outscales them. His, his scaling potential is crazy. Like his teamfight might not be the best, but if you farm up well and you have tons of gold, you can still impact teamfights pretty hard if you are hyper fat. And his split push is unstoppable. If you're if you're fat Jax, no one can stop you. Um, Diana, I think she's a solid AP top laner, but she is not that strong compared to most duelists. Like she would lose one vs one. Kale, I, I think I overrated her. Um, yeah, she can be, if you don't get ganked, yes, she was S tier or S plus in the last, before she got nerfed, but now with the nerf, and if you get camped as a Kale, if you get camped as a Lay, you can FF, it's just surrender. Like, she's very squishy, she can get bullied super hard, and she got nerfed so much. With Kale, right? Base attack damage, huge early game nerf, attack speed nerf, armor nerf, ultimate nerf, it's just... You can't lane anymore. Jace bullies you, Fiora, but bull everyone bullies you, you just get bullied. You just get bullied and if you get camped by enemy jungler, if they play jungle and top lane duo queue, you, you can't play the game, you literally can't play the game. She's way too weak, she was already weak in the early game, but now she's way too weak in the early game, I think 80 is fine. 80 maximum. Her late game is still obviously very good, but hey, make it to the late game in solo queue. Enjoy. Make it into the late game. I want to see you play. If you get camped by Lee Sin, like Camille Lee Sin against you, what do you do? You go 05, you get bullied completely. You can hug the tier 2 turret because you can never touch the tier 1 turret. And if you want to go to your turret, they can camp in between turrets and kill you. She's just, uh, I don't know, questionable. I think maybe even B tier, like A tier is like... The late game potential! Okay, listen. Solid overall cheesy Baron Lane. I think he's fine. I really are same. She got nerfed in 2.6, if I'm not wrong. So I think 8 tier is fine, maximum. Because all, so many top laners just beat her 1 vs 1 if they played well. But she. It's like for high skilled players, like high skill ceiling. Maybe if you are godly one trick pony, you can put her S tier, but average wise, she's like A tier. Cannon got nerfed. Cannon is like solid AP top laner, but nothing special. Mondo, I think he is pretty pretty strong in the Baron lane, honestly. Like A tier means they are they can hold their own against most Baron laners. They're solid overall. Like if I say compared to them, they are not, not that strong, but still overall they are solid champions. Mondo, solid champion, very tanky, decent uh, laning phase. Um, Akali, weak in the Baron lane, kinda weak early game. Gragas AP fine. Gragas tanky actually also fine, like hybrid is also fine. But yeah, I think A tier is fine. Same for Garen. Tanky, Juggernaut. 
does also a lot of damage, very simple to play champion. Wukong is the same as Gragas Sangaron. Tanky champion, okay, you can build him Bruiser. Good utility, good team fight, but in a 1 vs 1 he's like, me. I don't know, can you do something against all the other champions? I don't know about that one. Trinomare, A tier, I think that's solid. Like S tier means they are super good at carrying 1 vs 9. They are super good. And Trinomare, is he super good at 1 vs 9? I don't think so. I, I think he's fine, but if you play against crowd control, you can't do shit. Olaf, he, he got buffed, but I think he's still A tier. Like, it's. You always have to consider the matchups. If I think they are weaker or inferior in matchups against those top champions, I think they're just A tier. Like, if they stand in their own, they can face anyone in their matchup, any top champions without a problem, or they can hold their own. I, th I say, okay, S tier. They can 1 vs 9 and they're solid overall. Then S tier. Olaf depends. Like, especially against some comps, he will get kited. Same for Darius' issue. But Darius has the 1 vs 9 potential compared to Olaf. Like, I mean. Olaf also has 1 vs 9 potential, but Darius has the better one. Pantheon, kinda cheesy, falls off. Malphite, tanky. Um, I think he is fine, but he's just solid. Solid like a rock. <laughs> um, he's fine. Good team fight. Weak, weak, in the weak in the middle and late game in the solo lane, but decently strong in the early game. Grace. Uh, with the armor nerfs, I don't think he's that good to duel people. I think he's fine, but he needs so much gold. People always say his early game is so strong, but I don't think he's that amazing. He's fine. Like, if you just let him shove the wave and you just farm up. At level 5, you probably beat him. Jarvan got nerfed. I think he's still 8 here. Still a very solid tanky top laner. Akshan got nerfed. I think he's too situational and he will get bullied a lot of times. Alistar, I put him B tier, he's pretty solid. Nasus, uh, AFK farming playstyle is not good in solo queue. Do you play. If you want to be late game god, why would you play Nasus instead of Kale? Kale, 1 vs 9, insane damage. Nasus, tanky. He needs to stack. He gets bullied by every laner. He just gets bullied. So hard, especially now that Jace is popular. You can't play the game. Fiora, you can't play the game. Jace, you can't play the game. Darius, you can't play the game. Renekton, you can't play the game. Um, Riven, Camille, you can't play the game. You can never can play the game against those champions. You just suck the turret and play AFK and pray your teammates are doing fine. If your teammates are losing, how do you carry the game if you can't even win your own lane? That's the question. That's why just beat here. Some people will overrate him, but no, he's just beat here. I feel like he's... The issue about his playstyle is he's weak in the early game. He needs to farm up a lot to be useful. He can't really join teamfights unless he um, uses teleport. And otherwise, he will always get uh, pushed in. And uh, he just... Like, even late game scaling-wise, I don't think he wins against... I mean, Fiora he can beat, maybe. For late game, I don't know. Like, you need to reach the point. Like, before that, you will get... You can't enjoy to play the game for the first 8 levels or 10 levels. Anything after level 10, level 10, okay, I think fine. But reach that point before your teammates are useless. Okiora will just bully you. Like, all of those champions will bully you, shove you in, maybe kill you. And then they roam and impact the map. What do you do? You AFK from. You need stacks. I need to stack... And I'm uh, I think by this time maybe you have watched my Nasus video. And there's so many videos about oh Nasus is so good if you do this, but I don't think Nasus can consistently win. Like they show you one game or two games where doing well, but they don't show you the ten other games where it's useless. I think Nasus with Senna in the bot lane is more useful. I forgot to put him in the bot lane. Nasus bot lane with Senna is more useful than in the Baron lane. Cinch overall still weak, gets bullied a lot. Uh, his scaling is insane though. So if you get scaled uh, into late game, he's pretty good. Vayne to situational, she will get bullied. A good jungler will bully ADC on Baron lane completely. And she can play the game. Yasuo loses a lot of... Maybe he's A tier. If you're skilled, he's A tier. Um, to situational, and he loses a lot of matchups. Timo, he's not that good anymore. Galio, 
Mid lane support much better. I just put him here for so I can fill the seat here. Rengar, he is way better in the jungle. Wait, did I forget him in the jungle? Oh, I forgot to put him. No. Oh, I'm trolling. I'm trolling. Oh god. Ay ay ay. I'm trolling. I think it's because I copied this one here and then I forgot to move him up. Oh shit. Okay, let's go into jungle. First of all, before some people flame me. I this is misplacement. Attention, misplacement. He's S tier. Rengar S tier. I misplaced him. My bad. Cut this out. It's a misplacement. Because some people will already cry in the comments. Oh, no, I just I just fucked it up. He's S tier. Okay, first of all. Jungle, S plus tier. Lee Sin Karzix. Lee Sin got even above. He got above. Last last kill list, I put him into like see. Yeah, I put Ranga S tier, still the same. I put him S plus tier. It's still the same. S plus tier, even better. Kha'Zix, S plus tier. Like those two are very very broken. Jace also broken as fuck in the jungle. Um Yeah, Jace is super strong. Like people like his damage is insane. His poking damage is insane. His hammer form is insane. He's just so strong. He's just so fucking strong. Evelyn in solo queue. Very good, can snowball pretty easily. Nunu, one of the best tanks in, in the jungle, same for Jarvan. New Jarvan build, Edge of Night, pretty sexy. Jax, Huiba, Jax Huiba, very good. I've seen so many good Jax jungle players where they farm a lot, they play around the solo lane, they get a lot of gold, then they snowball. Jax, very good actually. Renekton as well, still the same, very good in the jungle. You guys, might, uh, you guys might think I'm trolling, but no, she, he is actually very good in the jungle. Same for Riven. Riven also very good in the jungle. Olaf with the buff. He, I mean, I put him S tier before. So he stays S tier. Camille actually surprisingly very good in the jungle now. Like, she is pretty solid in the A tier. Grace as well. I wasn't sure if I put him... I, I would put Grace A plus tier. Like, he's between S and A tier. He's very solid. But he needs a lot of gold and he needs to AFK farm. I'm not a fan of that playstyle. Because usually in solo queue, those aggressive early game junglers that can spam gang are better than champions that AFK farm. Mundo, I think he's overall pretty solid in the jungle. Gregor's AP jungler. He's okay. Wukong also okay. Like, he has the crawl control. He's tanky. Tournama, he needs to farm up but has good 1% potential. Pantheon, good early game, ganks, good ganking potential overall, um, but he falls off. Wait, I put Fizz 8 here even. I mean, it's fine. I've seen a lot of Fizz jungle, uh, Fizz jungle that did pretty well. Going Electrocute or Fleet would work. Fiora overall 8 tier. I think I put a last in S tier, but I haven't seen her really that often. I guess because I spam her in the Baron all the time, but I think she's overall pretty solid. Vi solid. Aurelia solid. Amumu, even though he got buff, I think he's still weak. Master He, uh, too weak. Shivana, too weak. Ramos, just too weak. Like, if I, I put them beat here, I think they're too weak. Like, yeah, you are so reliant on your teammates and you can spam gang in the early game, but after that, uh, if you don't get ganks or kills in the early game, I think you're just too weak. Uh, Diana too slow, too weak in the mid lane. She's the goat though. Renga S tier, S tier guys, don't flame me. I fucked up. Kale with the base that's not. I don't think you can even jungle on her anymore. She will get bullied completely. If one of those early game junglers gank her or invade her, she's done. Done so. Akshan with the. Maybe I put him too low, but Akshan with the base AD nerf. I think his jungle clear is so shit now. Probably. Maybe B tier. Maybe B tier, guys. But yeah, let's go mid. Oh, what a surprise! Jace S plus tier again. He's too broken. Any explanations? He's just broken. Diana? Broken. Insane 1 vs 9 potential. Great assassin. Same for Z. 1 vs 9. Insane. Maybe you should put for, uh, for Z for high skilled players. High skilled players. Katarina, one of the best solo queue champions. Um, if you're one trick pony, Katarina, she can pop off so crazy. Zix, still very strong, overall solid utility mage. Twist of Fate, very good. I think they buffed Twist of Fate, right? Yeah, S tier for sure. 
Morgana, I think she is a solid S tier. Akshan, even though she got nerfed, he's still very strong. Uh, Kale in the S tier. I think in the mid lane she has the best potential to still scale without getting bullied too hard. And like, I mean, Zed will probably bully you. Jace probably as well. But overall, if you don't face those two, and maybe Diana, you should be fine. Like, just hug the turret and try to farm up. Her late game is still godly. It's just the early game where you need to get through the early game. Fizz, a very good, strong assassin. Same for Aurelia, same for Akali. They're all very good higher skill with good skill ceiling like Aurelia and Akali. Aurelion, I, I've seen people flame me for putting him ST, but I think his roaming is just so good. His crawl control is insane, his teamfight potential is very good. Um, Galio, great teamfight potential, great roams, tons of crawl control, tons of damage. Oriana, same. Great utility, solid mage. Gregors, I think he's not that good in the mid lane. He's fine. But compared to all the other champions, he is like, he's okay. Renekton, Riven, Fiora. Situational champions to counter some melee champions in the top tier. Um, if you guys want to play melee champions, I think they are pretty solid to be honest. Situational, remember situational. Riven, for example, if you guys face Twist of Fate. I played against the Twist of Fate, I bullied him completely. Can be played against Diana and Zed as well, I guess. Against Akali as well, Aurelia. Good pick if you play against melee champions. If you play against ranged champions, maybe you will struggle a bit. But you should be fine overall. Ari, I think she's solid. I think she's just solid. Tor Charm, playmaking potential is definitely there. But her damage is usually not that high. Um, Brand, overall pretty solid mage. Good damage, kind of squishy. Corky, I wasn't sure if I put him S or... Wait, did I forget him in ADC? Oh, I forgot him here. Ah, sorry guys. I forgot Lucian as well. I never see Lucian in mid lane, that's the thing. I guess I put Lucian 8 tier. Corky 8 tier, Vega 8 tier. I, I, I never see a good Vega to be honest. I, I can't really rate him because I never see a good Vega. Even though he got buff, I think I put him in last time. Um, S tier, but no one plays them. I can't really ju uh, judge them too much. Like, I played so many games this season, but I never, I have never seen one single good Vega where I'm like, wow, this champion is broken, I need to ban him. It's like he's solid overall. He's solid, he's squishy, he has great crowd control, he has good damage late game. Cannon, weak in the mid lane. Camille, weak, and especially with the shield nerf, Tronomer, situational, kind of weak. Pantheon, too cheesy, Annie. I, th I feel like everyone else is does a better job and is not as squishy and not mobile. Like she has zero mobility. Lux as well. I think she's fine, but nothing special. Like B, remember B is not bad. B is like okay, okayish, average. Now C is average, but B is like good. B is already good, guys. See, I put Annie B. I got flame blast. Oh, why do you put a C tier? I, I think okay, B tier, B tier is fine. Let's go for ADCs. Kaisa, S plus tier with the recent buff. I think she's broken. I know Duck started playing her again. Um, he's playing again and he's spamming Kaisa. He has like 20 win streak on Kaisa. Kaisa's broken now. Kaisa's so toxic. Like she has stealth, she has a jump and shield. She has tons of damage. She is just so fucking strong. Lucian, very strong. S plus tier, his mu like the, the thing why I put them S plus tier is for both Vayne and Lucian, high damage, high mobility on ADC. It's a fucking annoying combo. It's so fucking annoying. I know last time I put MF S plus tier. I think she's very, very strong. But is she S plus tier? I think she's a very strong S tier. But is she? A 1 versus 9 genius. I don't think so. I think it's easier to kill her compared to... Like, if I was playing against one of those four champions, I would rather play against Misfortune than any of those three champions. Bane, invisibility, tons of damage, tons of mobility, crowd, crowd control, Lucian, tons of mobility, tons of damage, fucking AIDS, Kaiser. Mobility, damage, shield, it is so hard to kill them. 
Like, if I was playing, if I was a Baron laner, and I play against a Misfortune, yeah, she has tons of damage, but it's much more easier to kill her. Like, killing her is much easier than one of those three. They are so a pain in the ass. I hate them. Like, I hate Vayne and Lucian so much. Like, my number one bands are always Vayne, then Lee Sin Kha'Zix, Jace, actually, honestly, always ban Jace. Like, see, Jace S plus tier, Jace S plus tier, Jace S plus tier. Bro can ban him, guys. Number one ban tip. Jace, Lee Sin, Kha'Zix, Vayne, I think, uh, people will start Kai'Sa again. People will start to play Kai'Sa again. She's just broken. She's just so strong. If you know how to play Kai'Sa, position yourself correctly and maximize the damage, then it's like, go next, man. Go next. Wait. Oh, wait. It's random. It's finally writing me. This fucking dog. Because I asked him for the Baron Lane tier list. <laughs> <laughs> I, I said I put Jax S tier. He's like, no, he's weak. <laughs> uh, I, I think in solo queue is fine. I mean, that's why I put him A tier last time. I think he's... I think he was one of the first who said Jax is really strong, by the way. He was one of the first. I think he can do fine against all of those matchups, honestly, if you're skilled and you outscale. I think S is fine. If you're a skilled Jax player, S is fine. He's not a skilled uh, Jax player, so that's whatever. <laughs> Forget him. <laughs> oh, the best, uh, flaming the best Baron laner. That's fine. Draven, one of the best solo queue, easy, early game cheesing champions. A champion that is really good at not relying on your support and still winning the lane 1 versus 2. And the amount of times I played against the Draven that just gets a free first blood and snowballs is just crazy. Draven, very annoying, but you can easily kill him. Compared to those mobility monsters, he's like, whatever. Kamiya ultimate, GG, go next. Very strong poke, zero mobility. Um, obviously, his ultimate is very good crowd control. Ezreal... He has to move with the mobility. He is weak in the early game though. He needs so much. He needs three items before he's really good. And most of the times I, I never see a good S real. I think S tier is super good already. Remember, S tier means one of the best champions overall, so I think that's already that's already fine. Like but if you look at look at Lucian, the think about yourself. How often does a Vayne 1 vs 9 when she's with Ludo? Every single game. Lucian, how often does he 1 vs 9? So many times, and Kaisa as well. But Ezreal, the amount of times I've seen coin flipping useless Ezreal is just crazy. Because he needs to scale and he loses in the early game. He get, He's feeding, the other ADC gets ahead and then he's useless. Maybe some games he will come back because he's scaling, but usually, meh, S is solid. Three items, then he's very good, but before that, meh. Caitlyn was still a very solid uh, ADC with tons of range, Sire as well, Sire or combo, very good. APC6, very good right now if you need AP damage and you have an AD mid laner like Jace, Zed, Aurelia, Rhythm, Fiora, Renekton, Akshan, you can go 6 APC. Same for Oriana, but 6 is better. Um, Ash overall is still pretty solid, but I, I, I don't feel like she's S tier. She's a solid ADC. Jinx, she's solid, but she's not that strong in the early game. Like, if you get the reset, you can pop off like crazy. But I feel like all of the other champions are just better at doing it than her. It's easier for them to carry than for Jinx. Same for Tristana. Tristana is too weak until 4 items, maybe. She's just a super late game beast, but get into the super late game first. Like in... In Challenger, Grabmaster, Master, Elo, I've never seen one single good Tristana yet. In Even in the last season when I made tier loss, I've never seen a good Tristana. Akshan with a nerf, I think he's B tier. Jin, B tier, uh, B tier. He's fine, but not good, to be honest. He's okay, he's okay. Senna, much better support. That's int, Twist of Fate, C. Jace, C, that's, that's just int. Don't play that. Don't play that. Support. Oh, guys, before I start with the sub list, why do I put Senna here? Every single Senna player, oh, every single Senna player is an Inter. 
every single center player in Ranked is just an inter. They are just going to int you down, being useless, feeding. Never are they good. I'm I'm tired. I'm not going to put the S plus tier anymore. I just put here. You guys don't. You guys don't know how to play center. Don't play here. Don't ruin my ranked experience. Not only my ranked experience, everyone else's ranked experience. You guys will just feed so hard. And then you're so useless because you're range ADC and we don't have a tank. The amount of times of having a useless center, like, there's, there's a reason everyone memes center. Because everyone is just trash on center. They're just all useless. They think like, oh wow, I'm a support that is an ADC. I will carry them. Majority of the time they will just feed, they don't have impact, they don't know how to use their skill shots. You lack a frontliner. The amount of times, it's just crazy. Don't play her. Just don't play her. Wait, can I edit this? Don't play Senna. Don't play Senna. I would write it right here. But, honest opinion, if you know how to play her, you have the right. Remember, you need the right setup. Senna Zix, Senna Galio. Senna Gragas, Senna Nessus, Senna with a tanky jungler, Senna with a tanky top laner. Yes, but Senna without assassin jungler, with an assassin jungler, assassin mid laner, um, Bruiser top lane, you don't have a front line. Don't play her. And don't play double ADC Senna. Play Senna with AP, play, play her with Gragas, Galio, what, whatever I said, but don't play her. Double ADC is so bad. Sometimes you can do it if you have two tanky champions in your team comp. But the amount of times that people just pick Senna just because they want to play Senna and they don't look at that team comp is just insane. Don't play Senna when you are not dual queue. You will just grief anyways. Don't play her. I'm just gonna say, don't play her. Thank you. I, I should delete Senna here so people forget that I that I put Senna anywhere. Don't play her. Thank you. Um, Rakan S plus tier, one of the best engagers, insane playmaking potential. Lulu, one of the best enchanters. Lulu Vein combo broken. Um, Nami, one of the best enchanter. Pilas, crowd control queen. Alistair, um, engaging, tanky chat. Same for Gregor, same for Galio, same for Thresh, same for Leona, same for Brom. They all have good playmaking potential, great tanks, uh, great crowd control. Thresh, um, you need to be skilled. That's why, um, disclaimer, only for skilled players, then S tier, otherwise A tier. But yeah, all pretty good chat, engaging champions, and peeling, good crowd control, very good champions, play them please. I'd rather have you guys play those champions than enchanters. Enchanters are good, but it depends on your team comp. Um, if you have a tank or frontline, sure, go for them. If you have a full poke comp or full kite and uh, kite poke comp, yes. But if you have assassins and you want to go for those, it's usually not that good. Jenna, um, she's fine, but nothing too special. Same for Sona. I've, I, I feel like I've overrated Morgana as a support. She's fine, but nothing too special. She's better in the mid lane, to be honest. Or in the jungle. Wait, put a, did I put a jungle? Oh, I forgot to put a jungle. Morgana A tier in the jungle. But I, I never seen one single good Morgana jungle. Maybe Doom. So I just put the A tier. Brand. I've seen some people stop playing. Um, I mean Amumu support. I think it has potential but I'm not sure. I never played against it yet. And I haven't seen it yet. I only heard of people playing it a few times. I think potential to be B tier with the buffs now. Soraka. I don't like Soraka, I just put her B tier. I don't like her playstyle. You just re you just rely on your teammates to carry your ass, to be honest. Like, your impact is not that great, and with the nerf, Soraka is like, meh, whatever. Okay, these three are the same, basically. Poking AP champions uh, with crowd control, but it really depends on your team comp if you have frontline. If you don't have frontline, those champions are usually not that good. Really depends though. And you like look at the enchanters. Like those champions are just damage dealers, but they're not really supports. They're just damage dealers. Vega is just weak. Blitzcrank just weak as well. 
some of you say, oh, but Blitzcrank has so much potential if you hook someone. No, it's just bad. Same for Vega. You need to land the um, second, no. What's the name? Horizon something. Like, you need to land the cage to stun them, but the cage has so much delay. How often do you stun people? His lane is shit. His peel is shit. His cooldown on the stun is on the stun is so long. It's not good. I feel like I was so toxic. <laughs> Just flaming so many champions. Um, but yeah. The best champion right now, Jace. S plus, S plus, S plus. Broken. Play, play or ban Jace. I, please don't play Senna. Please just don't play Senna. I I can't. I don't want to see any Senna players in my ranked games anymore. Because I, in in 100 games, maybe 10% are good Senna players. Maybe 10%. Every other people, they pick it into the uh, wrong comp. They don't know how to play her. They will just feed. And you don't have a tank. Because you have an ADC that's just feeding. A, a very good support, by the way. Um, but yeah, if you guys enjoyed this tier list, then leave a like, subscribe, and I see you next time. Professor Breaker lecture. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Fire spreading all around my room. My world's so bright. It's hard to breathe, but that's alright.